Hello everyone, this is Economic Spy. Welcome to my channel. Um, here is a, a few points I wanted to make and then some uh, uh, good information that I had just stumbled upon. Um, anyhow, I had quite a few people uh, message me already uh, in private message uh, asking why don't I get involved with really looking in details and stuff. Uh, I post a lot of videos about that. Uh, well, first of all, it takes a lot of time to do. Um, and uh, besides the fact, uh, there's lots of YouTubers doing that already. Um, so I'm going to leave that up to them. Uh, I, I don't have that kind of time to spend. Uh, but at the same time, that's what makes all of us a YouTube community so we can educate everybody to, at the same time. So uh, I'm going to leave that up to them. Uh, but whenever I come ac across stuff, uh, you know, I'll, I'll put it out there um, at will. And, um, and that's the way YouTube you know video blogging is all about so uh, but anyhow um, I just uh, uh, had found out some information uh, at the uh, complex that I work there's uh, three businesses that are in there uh, the main uh, uh, it's a well-known very fancy uh, conference center uh, that I'm a conference custodian uh, for um, and I basically uh, keep in charge of uh, book working uh, I make sure that the events are scheduled properly uh, with our work staff um, and make sure all the critiquing is set uh, just right for the events uh, all the extras that they request uh, so that's kind of gives you an idea what I do um, and it's it's a pretty stable job because we have uh, uh, Wells Fargo um, in that uh, building we have uh, American Express credit cards and we also have two large insurance companies in that building, so it's it's a very secure building uh, that will obviously never go, uh, uh, you know, bust. So that's a good thing. Uh, but anyhow, the information I just stumbled upon. Um, uh, there's a business called uh, West Business Services there, and uh, I see people all the time uh, walk through that. It's basically a large call center, uh, which is a uh, divisional company uh, hired by uh, Wells Fargo Bank and uh, uh, I'm not going to disclose the person's name you know rightfully so you know, it's improper to do that uh, but anyhow uh, she had mentioned to me and she's she's been at this place for about four years going on five years so she has a pretty good idea what what uh, is going on right now realizes just like many of you that there's problems going on right now and some people know how to put it together. Uh, some people are way ahead of the program. So it's just a matter of getting everyone going in the same direction. Because uh, once we can do that, real change will happen. Because um, in my opinion, I think uh, to a certain point now that uh, government has actually failed us. Um, not that it's, it's um, necessarily that they want to fail us. <clears throat> I think it has to do more with the policies that are set forth upon them. Uh, by the Federal Reserve and money creation that quite frankly there ain't anything they can really do that's gonna make good positive changes there's a whole bunch of things they can do uh, because a lot many of them are career politicians they don't want to uh, you know do anything that's that's gonna be hard on the general society to vote them back in so it's kind of a system that's feeding on itself right now and unfortunately it's causing a lot of repercussions such as we all know um, but anyhow uh, this lady had mentioned to me, and I had mentioned this in our uh, uh, chat room, um, uh, AU and AG chat on Pal Talk. Um, you can refer to some of my other videos on that uh, to find out where that room's at. Uh, but anyhow, uh, she had mentioned to me that uh, she's seen a large amount of foreclosures coming through uh, from you know subprime, and now she's seeing. Uh, she said she used to see a little bit of the prime rate mortgages starting to foreclose. But she says now she's seeing a, a massive amount of prime rate mortgages foreclosing. Uh, and those are coming into the system. Now, those are ones that are coming in the system that had uh, FHA assistance, federal housing assistance, set up by the U.S. government. Okay. Now, even FHA is starting to fail at this point in time because a lot of these uh, prime rate mortgages uh, were in those assistance programs. Uh, and that's one of the big ones. And now we're starting to see those come out of the closet, if you will, and now they're starting to add to the foreclosure amounts because 
the system uh, is not allowing for those uh, uh, assistance programs to be able to assist these uh, home uh, buyers uh, and residents to, you know, cope with the loss of job hours and payroll deductions and stuff like that, or even job losses. So that area is starting to speed up. But now what I just first started hearing, uh, and she says this is a phenomenon that just started happening. She said she never knew what Alte Verde and option arm mortgage loans were, she says, until now. And she says uh, she uh, seeing a massive amount of these coming through now. Uh, she says su such as how the subprime uh, mortgage foreclosure started coming in at that type of a pace. Okay, that's that's the whole second wave that a lot of people don't know about is uh, these residential and even commercial real estate loans. Uh, they're both kind of tied in sequence. So with the type of loans, you can have a jumbo, you can have a fixed or variable interest rate or whatever. There's all different kinds of loans. But these are some of the big ones, big name ticket items, if you will, that are starting to come through now. And uh, ultimately what this is going to do is uh, send the markets into another down world. Uh, now the, the main question and the wild card here is at this point in time is, uh, will government decide to step in the way again with these type of mortgages and try propping it up even more? Chances are, if history repeats itself, they will. But ultimately, what what is that going to do? It's only going to put a band-aid on an infection so large that this time, instead of uh, having the ability to surgically remove that infection, uh, the patient's actually going to die from the infection. That's That's what's going on right now you know, is they're trying to put a band-aid on a solution to where the infection is going to grow so bad that the, the patient's actually going to die from the infection, but the band-aid's still going to be on. So with the band-aid still on, uh, and if they don't count that death uh, within their uh, um, uh, deceased uh, amount of numbers that people come through deceased, how are you actually going to know what the real economy is? And that's all that's going on right now. So, so uh, you know, I don't know if you're, I'm the first you're to hear this from, but I have that inside information from a call center that actually is part of Wells Fargo. Um, and she had mentioned that Alte Verde and Option Arm loan defaults are starting to occur now. Uh, they have always been, you know, a little here and there, but she says she's hearing so much more about this now. She says it's, it's starting to happen just like the subprime happened, she says, from our call center standpoint. So I thought that's pretty interesting. Um, you know, I heard about that a long time ago, um, about this being the second wave of, of uh, mortgage foreclosures that are going to send the markets into a, a second downwind, probably deeper than the first. Uh, some of that, uh, uh, you know, most of it fundamentally driven, but uh, to compile the problems, a lot of it could be speculative driven too. Uh, from day trading, uh, sell-offs, you're going to see more flash crashes and, and crap like that going on now so uh, all I can say is prepare yourself you know I hope, I hope you got a life paddle and a safety boat by now because uh, there's still time to, to get on board but uh, um, there's very few uh, uh, safety boats and uh, paddles at this point in time uh, so uh, if you if you want to know what I mean by uh, having a safety boat with paddles uh, make sure that you have a life raft um, I'd encourage you to come check us out in the AU and AG chat room uh, we've got quite a few members from YouTube already coming in there um, and just regular general pal talk uh, members uh, and I, I want to note real quick here at the last uh, 30 seconds I got for this video um, that uh, I, I've scoped out a lot of chat rooms throughout my time but pal talk is actually very unique it's not just a chatting board, you know, where you have the, the general platform where you just see the text chat. If you have a mic and you can plug it into your USB in the back of your computer or in the front of your computer, you can actually talk to people in that room too. And there's other additions if you pay for it, you can actually uh, view video in the rooms too. Um, you know, through copying a, a link, putting it into your playlist, and then you can actually play the video in your room. Um, and I think it's as cheap as like $40 for a year. Uh, you get unlimited you know video and stuff like that so it's pretty neat you know I encourage you to come check us out either way so uh, until next time this is economic spy and uh, you guys take care over and out